Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is HP EliteBook 820 and the RTC CMOS battery already uh, ran out. And that's why when I press the power button, I can see the BIOS post messages every single time this CMOS battery is very low. All right. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace your CMOS battery especially for this model, which is HP EliteBook 820Z1. So first of all, let me tell you the model number of the battery, which is CR2320. Okay, the most common one that you can get from any local shop is CR2032. But this model is quite flat and wider. So if you buy CR2032 don't fit, you have to buy either CR2032. 2320 or CR2016, one of them. And both of them are flat. And you can just, you know, replace your battery easily. You don't have to buy the exact correct model because both of the battery does have the same bolt, which is three bolt. So that's the original one, which is CR2320. And that is located right underneath the keyboard. So first of all, Make sure you take out the back cover and the battery, and then you're gonna find two screws to open up the keyboard. So one of them on the left-hand side of your CPU, and another one on the right-hand side. Make sure you unscrew it properly. The screw's not gonna come out all the way, but you could feel it once it open. And then open up the laptop, take a flat opening tool, and try to spudge around the keyboard. So when you spudge around, don't pull the keyboard all the way out because there are two cables underneath. One of them, the keyboard cable, another one, the trackpad. And both of them are very short. So if you just open up like that, you would be able to see there is a cable connector, the white, sorry, the black and red cable. And that's the one is RTC battery to run the clock time for this laptop. All right. As you can see, this one uh, previously replaced about four years ago, and this is completely run out. So the actu exact model, as I said, CR2320, and the one I have on my hand is 2016. And both of them, as I said, three bolt, so let's replace it. As you can see, there is a red wire, and another one is black one. So red is treated for live, which is plus, and the black one is for negative, which is neutral, the minus one. So make sure you put the alignment in correct way. Don't put the red one into the neutral line and the black one into the positive line. You're gonna see there is an indication. So where there is no sign, this is the negative side, and where is the plus sign, that is the positive sign, okay? So let's show you one more time. All right, yeah, that's the way. Now I'm gonna put the tape back and that's all fine. 